probably do a couple thousand space valves, which are distributed over um, satellites, launch vehicles, uh, space station. We're doing quite a bit of hardware for the lunar lander and EV has been welding some really tiny little parts for us lately. And in some of those, we have tolerances of like five to 15,000. <laughs> Yeah. You imagine, you know, a human hair of thickness of weld, the sheer number of welds that go into, into one of our valves. If I took the coil off of this assembly and showed you the guts in here. And, and what we're trying to do is keep the part from getting too hot, right? Because there's Teflon very close to the, uh, to the weld and you, you overcook the Teflon, it extrudes out of your part, it makes a mess. It, so you, you, need, you need to weld it really light so we don't put too much heat energy in it. how reliable they have to be and how successful they have to be every time they weld for us is, is incredible. Basically, we've got people's life at stake here. We have tried other sources for EV Weld and we always come back home to EV Industries and they are our sole supplier for EV Weld. We're using hydrazine, nitrogen tetroxide, monomethyl hydrazine, Han propellants. They're all very caustic. They eat metals, some of them. I call them my weld experts. They're a partner. You know, that, that's what the relationship is. It's, it's like me turning to the guy sitting next to me and asking for help. That, that's how the, the people at EV Industries work with us.